Alright, welcome back everyone for our second session of Tales of Brazuria. Um, I'm not doing the webcam this time, um, simply because it's very warm in my room right now. So I had to take my shirt off, and I did not want to be on camera without my shirt. So <laughs> that wouldn't be good for you, it wouldn't look good for you guys, wouldn't feel good for me. Well, I wouldn't actually care either way, but <clears throat> it definitely wouldn't look good, so... Um, we're gonna jump in here. We were, we left off, uh, heading into the cave to go after the hyena demon. Uh, if I remember correctly, I should remember, because I just did put together the last episode of the last recording, uh, of the, uh, last session yesterday. Um. I think his name was Dial. Can't offer a lot, but at least you can stay warm for a while. Well, apparently, it wants me to do something with this person. Oh. Did he just get a friggin' training sword? That was a good session, if I do say so myself. Tomorrow's drill will be even faster. Or does he just carry a I training he was sword? Being a crazy one. demon again, but come to think of it, this is just him being him. <sighs> okay, well now that's gone. <clears throat> All right, there's no other people we got to talk to, so, yeah, that's where we came in. This is where we need to go. Wait, my granddaughter said she spoke with you. Hey, hold up. It's not like we threatened her or anything. Don't worry, I know. I gather you intend to continue your travels, yes? Then take this. It's nothing fancy, but hopefully it helps. Cooking! Alright. Uh, restores party's health and provides bonus effects in the next battle. <clears throat> Let's you choose a dish to cook automatically after battle. Cook and eat. Let's you immediately cook and eat a single dish. Skills. Let's you check the cooking skills you've learned so far. Cook and eat. You can immediately cook a dish and activate its effects. On the left is the list of recipes you've learned, and on the right is information on each recipe. Ingredients required are shown in the lower right, if you have the required ingredients. <coughs> Excuse me, ingredients. You can create the dish. Try cooking up some prickle boar sausage. Uh, choose a character who will cook the dish and the cooking skill you want them to use. Each character has different cooking skills. For now, select Velvet Stun minus 10. Yes. Food's ready. It's nothing special. <coughs> Character's cooking level is displayed on the upper right of the screen. Explore the auto cook option selected from the menu. Only lasts for one battle. It means you won't benefit from a bit from a dish in any subsequent battles. Auto allows you to have your party automatically after every battle. However, please note that you still need the required ingredients. Ingredients. Jeez, I can speak. Really, I can. The auto cook works in the same way as cooking normally. Many times you can auto cook your selected dish. <clears throat> oh, okay, so I probably won't use the, the auto cook, but I will definitely try to hey, remember Velvet, to cook. Can I ask you a question? A fair you can do times. whatever you want, but just because you ask doesn't mean you're getting an answer. So, about that whole apple thing, you can't taste anything? Not entirely. I can taste blood. D Nothing else? Nothing. And I don't think I can feel full, either. You don't think? You talk like you've never had a good meal before. I haven't. Not normal food, at least. Not since I became a demon. So, what have you been eating? Please. You were in that prison with me. I'm... sorry. Forget it. This is just what I am now. As long as I have a recipe, I can still cook. And now I don't even have to worry about how it tastes. Yeah. I suppose. 
Food keeps my strength up. That's all I care about. <sighs> yeah, not being able to taste what you eat, or having it not taste the way it should, is a pain in the butt. I definitely know that because after January, being quarantined for two weeks, <clears throat> now I have several things that still taste the same, but several things that don't quite taste the same anymore. Pretty sure that, either, that more than likely just a bunch of smell receptors died or something because of COVID, but <clears throat> we'll find that out tomorrow at my physical. Hadlow Hollow, Cavern in the Northern Marsh. Oh look, a centipede. Yummy. On to battle! Your style is really unique. Just wait until I pull out the good That's stuff. That's title Bloody boot. Oh, because I mastered my boots. Driving requires life bottles with special arts and resurrection. And soul's health affects a variety of things. More souls a character has, more damage. The greater chances of this inflict. Lower the chances. Soul count. <clears throat> Change the active character. Okay, LB and left to right. Ooh, look at all those souls. there should be an enemy in here or something. I'm probably jinxing myself. Maybe not. That smell. Oil? It's another shortcut that I can't do anything with right now. Alright, you'll be rushed on my blade. <laughs> I do like the glasses on her. Now, let's see here. Uh, that looks like equipment. Yep, mastered the resistance ring and the battle boots. Focus, max health. Mental fire type damage.
That's a lot of centipedes. We're finished here. Let's go. Oh. Hello, Squiddy. On to battle. Your compassion for me. screw you guys. I think we might be able to break this boulder. And people say I'm foolhardy. I'm serious. I think we can do it. Are we not demons? Uh. You have a point. Crack boulders by pressing A, can open up new paths and destroy boulders. Will not reappear, so make it a point to destroy them when you encounter them. Gee, why couldn't you learn that out on the cliff there? I mean, not that that really matters. Twenty-five and I have twenty-four. Shoot! Um, I didn't see any more cats souls out there. No, well, no more. Which means I'm gonna have to come back to this one. Okay, nab it. There's a couple of souls over here. Not even 
worth my time. Woohoo! All right. Ah, uh, do, 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 do up here. So it was tar we were smelling. Watch your step. You won't get out if you get stuck. Oh, yummy. Path may appear blocked when there are actually footholds. Footholds. Jump. 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 Hmm. Oh, jeez. You'll be rust on my blade. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now there's two paths here. Uh, where's the map? There it is, X. All right, let's go across here. First. I'll end this quickly. Okay. We're finished here. Let's go. dead end. So... Whoa, there's a bunch of enemies in here, though. Don't get overconfident. Your souls. Holy cow. Nice. Shadow daggers. Uh, well, yeah, we definitely want him to master that first. I didn't realize those. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back to those to get that up. All right. Here I come. <laughs> Battle. 
They were nothing. Nice. from me, Squiddy. You should probably move. It. You know what they say. Falling off a rock only makes us stronger. I don't think that's quite how the how saying, saying goes. goes. I'm going to use this footing. There may be a boulder nearby. I'm going to jump. <clears throat> don't fall and crack your skull. Come on, I'm jumping, not jumping like a friggin' football field full of cars or some crap like that. Oh! Well, I don't know if that's something that I should mess with. On to Hello, battle! Victory is ours. Woo. I kind of feel like I should save before I try him. Um, see, can I do a quick save? No, I cannot. Which means likely there should be a quick save or an auto save. Entered this area. Stop guarding. You're a fine swordsman. Not as far as I'm concerned. I still have a long way to go. What sort of demon are you? A Yaksha. I'm a war demon. A war demon. Makes sense. And what about you? You're awfully peculiar, even for a demon. I'm a Therian. Therian? That's a new one for me. What sort of demon is that? A monster that feeds on foes to gain power. I don't know much beyond that. Hmm. 
A woman who devours her enemies. I bet your demon type is hag. Am I right? What? Whoa. <laughs> You've got the death Death Clear's down. down. <laughs> Careful, dude. <laughs> what Wrong sword button. style do you use? Who taught you? I'm self-taught. For being self-taught, you're really good. Your fundamentals are solid, too. But then you suddenly throw out these kicks and all these other moves. It's really unusual. Like I said, it's my own style. And what about you, huh? What's with those two swords? You say that big one is your life, yet you never even draw it. It's best that I don't. Huh? Is that part of what you learned at House Rangetsu? Yeah, we pay our debts. That's the foundation of everything we do. I don't get it. Ch oh. Yeah, there's a shiny back there. Flames and chip. Come on, bat. Don't waste my time. Hold on. Slow down. See this? Come on, really? Ooh. Incapacitator. Nice. Some more herbs. Close now. Squiddy Bow is ready to fight. Off centipede. Jump, jump, jump. You said you can't taste anything. How is your sense of smell? Why do you ask? Those two senses work together. You know, like how if you pinch your nose while you eat, the flavor goes away. If anything, I think my sense of smell has improved. What about you? All my senses are sharper now. Still, being able to smell but not taste. Hmm. You said Eutherians eat demons, right? Not what I'd call a pleasant diet. Look who's talking. What do you eat? I drink, mostly. Huh. That doesn't sound pleasant, pleasant either. <laughs> Nonsense. There's nothing with more depth and variety. Every ingredient, every process alters the whole. The rich, complex flavor dancing across the tongue. <laughs> 
the mellow aroma exhilarating the nose. Yeah, but what would a child know of such things? Whatever. The only downside is, now that I'm a demon, the stuff goes to my head faster than before, too. Now that uh. you're a demon, huh? 